the latest Talon data preparation release has made the preview feature more accessible and easier to use. From the right panel, select the function you would like to apply on your preparation. After adding the necessary parameters, you can click the new preview button to enter preview mode. The effects of the functions are shown on the grid. If you're okay with the changes, click submit or click anywhere to exit preview mode. For functions that don't need additional parameters, you can directly click the eye icon to enter preview mode and then simply click the function to apply the change. From the Workspace Permissions tab in the Environment page, you can see and manage workspace permissions and users in a single view when you click a workspace name from the list. You can configure a single workspace or multiple ones for multiple users easily. Select users from the list or by using the search box. Assign them workspace permissions. You can see the list of users and their permissions from the Users tabs. You can also edit their workspace permissions at a glance. If you have configured context variables in your pipeline before publishing it to Talon Cloud Management Console, you can now visualize and overwrite these variable values when adding or editing a task based on this pipeline. Take this pipeline for example. It processes driver's insurance data and filters accident data, based on the number of drivers involved. The default filter is set to return records with more than 10 drivers involved. 48 records are returned. A context variable has been assigned to the filtering value to return records with more than 15 drivers involved. If you run the pipeline, the context variable is applied and you can see in the metrics, as well as in the logs, that only 28 records are returned. These 28 records correspond to the records with more than 15 drivers. Now, if you publish this pipeline artifact to Talon Cloud Management Console, you are able to visualize the assigned context variable from the artifact details page. If you create the corresponding pipeline task, you can also visualize the variable values from the task details page. And if you want to overwrite it with a different value when running the corresponding pipeline task, you can do so by editing it in the parameters step of the task configuration. And finally, you can also visualize the context variables of a specific task run in the pipeline tab of the run overview page. To do so, run your pipeline task and check the corresponding logs in the run history. The new distinct option has been added to the field selector processor. This option allows you to return only different values and to remove duplicates while selecting your fields. In this example, we want to select and rename lab country records in a dataset holding at home research data. Before enabling the distinct option in the field selector processor, the data preview shows 100 records that contain several duplicates of country names. By enabling the distinct option, only the 21 different values are kept in the output as you can see in the refreshed live preview. Now that the lab country records have been deduplicated, they can be sent to the destination of your choice. In the standard Git storage mode, Talon Studio now supports performing more Git operations while there are uncommitted local changes. You can see in this project, there are several uncommitted changes in the Git staging view. Now let's try to perform some Git operations. First, let's pull and merge the remote branch heads into the current branch. Next, let's commit a partial subset of local changes in the Git staging view. Then let's push this local commit to the remote end. Finally, let's create a new branch and switch to it. You can see all these Git operations are performed successfully while there are some uncommitted local changes in the Git staging view.